This is going to be a really simple tutorial on how to add mods to your Stardew Valley game. Hi, I'm Quickie Pixel, and today I am showing you guys how to add mods to your Stardew Valley game. If you don't know who I am, my name is Chanel, but I go by Quirky Pixel Online. I am a YouTube video creator as well as a Twitch streamer. My goal is to help you take your passion for games to the next level. So if you're passionate about gaming and you want to make YouTube videos or live stream, then you might want to subscribe. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to go over to nexusmods.com slash Valley. You will need to go to the search bar and type in Smappy. So this is a modding API. This is just going to allow you basically to add the mods into your game. So you want to go to files and you're going to want to install the latest version, which will be at the top. Don't download the one for developers because we are not a developer. So you're going to click manual download and it should download it here. If not, click this download button. Once you've downloaded Smappy, it will be in your downloads folder and it will be a zip file like this one here. You're going to go and locate your Stardew Valley folder. So you want to go to Windows, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common and Stardew Valley. And you're going to want to extract this file into here. So we're going to right click it. I have WinRAR for extracting files, so you're going to want some sort of software for extracting your files so it turns from a zip folder into a normal folder. So I'm just going to extract files and I'm just going to copy this and paste it here so it's going to go into this folder. Let's press OK. Now Smappy has been extracted into your Stardew Valley folder, you want to open Smappy Installer and you want to double click on install on windows obviously if you have one of the other if you have mac or linux then you click the appropriate one the double click on windows and this is what's going to come up so this is the installer all you have to do is press one and enter okay snappy is installed so now it's saying that it wants us to go to steam and set my launch options to launch with Smappy so that we can still get achievements and stuff. The other option is you can launch Stardew Modding API from your folder to play with mods but we're going to launch it so you can play it straight through your Steam and still get achievements. So you're going to go to your Steam and go to Stardew Valley, you're going to right click, go down to properties, go set launch options and this is where you're going to need to type in this here. So I have copied this for you guys and put it in the description below. So you can quickly just copy this and put it in here. Okay, and then once you've copied that, paste it in here and press okay. The very next thing you need to do after you have installed Smappy is to run your game. Go to your game, hit play, and this is what it's gonna look like when you run the game. It's gonna come up with this little window here, which is Smappy running the game. And there you go, it's loaded the game. And that's all you have to do, so exit that. So that is Smappy done. The next thing you're gonna want is a mod for mods that will change the way your game looks. So these are my mod, this is my actual mods folder that I have. These ones say CP next to them, which is the content patcher mod. These change the way the game looks. For example, this gives me like a rainbow horse. This gives me a different look inside the greenhouse these all change appearance of the items in stardew valley and for this you need content patcher so to install content patcher you can search it here or if there is a mod that needs it nexus mods will let you know so if i go down click requirements it tells me i need content patcher so i can even click this to go to the content patcher download this is obviously needed by Smappy. Go to files and install the latest version. You have to click download. It will install it here. After you've run Smappy, it creates a mod folder for you. So this is the mods folder where you're gonna want to install Content Patcher. You right click Content Patcher, you click extract files, dot, dot, dot. I copy this, paste it here, press okay, and it will create a folder from this zip folder here. So now you can install a bunch of mods. You do exactly the same thing, you get the zip file, so this is automate, mod, you extract the files, you paste it to your mods folder, 
and it will create another folder for it. Do this with all your mods. Now I already have a mods folder so I can literally just drag all my mods back over and skip the ones I already have. There, done. So that's how you install your mods. So all you have to remember is to go to Nexus, find the mod you want, they have a bunch of mods to search through, you can find the top ones. Once you download it, you right click on the file, make sure you have like WinRAR or something to extract your files. You click extract files dot 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 so you can choose the location. You paste in that you want it to go to Stardew Valley Mods, then you press OK and it will be in your mods folder. So now when you run the game, this is how you can tell whether a mod is working or a mod is broken or a mod needs updating. So I can use Mappy, I can go through this, all the ones in white are the mods that have been loaded. So these have been correctly loaded to the game. Uh, it's found one mod with a warning. Uh, this is telling me I can update this mod. If anything is in red, it is not been put into your game and you're going to have to find out what the problem is. It might be that it doesn't work with the game, that it needs an update, but there's no update for it. You can then use this to know what's working in your game. So that is how you install your mods into Stardew Valley. If you have any problems, please leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I'm happy to help. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. I make new videos every single week. A lot of tutorials, mods, uh, how to YouTube, how to live stream, etc. I also live stream on Twitch every single week, four times a week. So if you want to see me play some Stardew Valley, my modded one, come see that. Okay, I'll see you guys very soon with another video. Bye!